So you're not sure if your car battery is dead, if it's dying, it's the alternator. I know it's confusing, right? It's hard. All you need is one of these. It's called a multimeter. It's how we test those things. Very easy to use. Come on, I'll show you. Before I show you guys how to read a multimeter, go in your vehicle, engine off, turn your headlights on. This is gonna get rid of what's called the surface charge, which will give you a much more accurate reading on the battery. It takes a couple of minutes to get rid of that surface charge. So in the meantime, I'm gonna teach you how to use your multimeter. Now the black lead, that's always gonna go in the port that says COM, C-O-M. And the red lead will always go into the port with the V and the other symbols. That's important to know. Then we're gonna find volts. R says V, some might say DCV, but those are volts. And we wanna find a number that's above 15. So we're gonna hit 20. Now that you know how to use your multimeter, go ahead and turn off your headlights while we do the test. What we're looking for on here is between 12.6 and 12.8 volts. That means the battery is good. 12.3, okay, 12.3, eh, you're iffy. Anything under 12.1, your battery's probably on its last legs. You're going to take the red probe and you're gonna touch it to the positive terminal on the battery and the black probe on the negative terminal on the battery. Doesn't matter which order you do it in, just have to touch them both solid contact at the same time. And we're reading 12.64, that's good. That means the battery is at least holding a charge, but wait, there's still more to test. Now we're gonna check out the old CCAs, the cold cranking amps. Make sure that's good too, right? Ideally, you want someone holding these probes nice and tight up against those posts, because if they move about, it's gonna interfere with that number and you might get an inaccurate reading. Now I'm gonna crank the engine over and you're gonna look for a number that's under 10. Anything under 10 means that we potentially have a bad battery. And you know what, while we're at it, We'll check the alternator. Here we go. 11.12, if I'm not mistaken, that's great. That means the battery is holding a charge and the CCAs, the cold cranking amps, are good to go. However, the 13.848586 is a little bit more concerning. With the engine running, ideally with a healthy alternator, you'd wanna be between 14.2 and 14.7. We're not, as you can see, we're running 13.8. And though that's not horrendous, it tells me that the alternator isn't working to 100% capacity. So let's recap here. Grab your multimeter, turn it to volts, DC. Anything above 20, you're good to go. Make sure you turn on your headlights without your engine running for a couple minutes to get rid of that surface charge. We talked about that. And then measure it with the car off. 12.6, 12.8, battery's really good to go. 12.3, it's still probably gonna turn the engine over. You start getting to the low 12s and under 12, no, your battery's dead, just go buy a new one. Then have someone hold your probes, black to black, red to red, okay? Crank your engine over, and you don't wanna see that go below 10. If it goes below 10 while you're cranking the engine over, it's a good chance you have a bad battery. And the alternator, well, this one is 26 years old, so do I expect it to be running at 100%? No, was 13, 8 the end of the world? No, but it just tells me that the alternator is starting to get tired. She's a little old and that's okay. But if you're running between 14.2 and 14.7 with your car running, if that's the voltage that you see, it means your alternator is good to go. Battery is good to go. You're good to go. If you guys have any questions, comment below. See y'all in the next video.